Hello students, in this segment we are going to discuss about electrolytic decomposition and here uh, already we have discussed about the thermal decomposition now in the second part is the electrolytic decomposition or electrolysis rather it is called. So as you know electrolysis means it is called the decomposition of a substance by the process of, by the passage of electricity. When electricity is passed through a substance and the substance gets decomposed into its simpler, simpler substances, then we say that it, it is the electrolytic decomposition. But the thing is that whenever the current is passed through a solid, we are saying that it is a conductor. So, conductor conducts electricity in solid state. But whenever a liquid or any solution is conducting electricity, then we are saying it is as a electrolyte like the uh, conduction of electricity in molten sodium chloride or conduction of electricity in acid related water. So here in the activity as it has been given, here is a diagram I have drawn that is the electrolytic decomposition of water, acid related water because pure distilled water is a non-electrolyte, it does not conduct electricity even in liquid state. So, we have taken some acidulated water in the beaker and the, acidula the acidulation has been done by adding few drops of sulfuric acid and a plastic mug has been taken and two holes have been drilled here and two electrodes, the carbon rods have been immersed here and they are connected to a battery and two test tube filled with water has been inverted over it to collect the gas. Now as the current passes through, you will find that some bubble starts evolving in the respective test tube. Now let me tell you the positive one, the positive, <coughs> the positive one which is connected is called as anode and the negative one which is connected is called cathode. So cathode is the negatively charged electrode and anode is the positively charged electrode. So as the current passes through, you find the bubble starts coming or collected in the respective test tube. But do you think that the uh, gas collected in both the test tube are of equal volumes? It is actually no. The, the volume of the gas collected in the cathode is exactly twice the volume of the gas collected at anode. This is because the water when electrolyzed, it is broken down into so two molecules of water and one molecule of oxygen. From every two molecules of water, two more, more molecule of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen is liberated in the respiratory electrode. That's why the volume of the gas collected at cathode to anode is in the ratio of two is to one. And here another question you can ask that why the test tubes are being filled with water. This is because that the bubbles when it starts evolving, it displaces water downward and the gas is collected. So similar examples can be taken for the electrolytic decomposition of molten sodium chloride and when molten sodium chloride or fused sodium chloride at high temperature when it gets electrolyzed, it decomposes into sodium and chlorine because uh, at high temperature when in a few state the sodium ion and chlorine chloride ion are being separated sodium ion travel towards cathode chloride ion travel towards anode and in the respective electrode they get collected like in this case you can see the water gets decomposed into H plus and OH minus now H plus is the cation, OH minus is the anion you can say. So cation travels towards cathode because it is a positive charged ion and it travels towards cathode and OH minus ion travels towards anode. So H plus gets converted to hydrogen there by accepting electron and OH minus ion gets converted to oxygen and water as well. So that is a separate part, the ionic equation I am not going in this activity. And here, so this is all the, um, the diagram and the equation based 
and the question are also whatever the whatever of question can be asked i told now in the next part we are going to discuss about the photochemical decomposition as you know photochemical decomposition is the decomposition of a substance in the presence of sunlight particularly so photo means the <coughs> light so if you take some silver chloride salt of silver chloride and keep it in open you will find that it gets decomposed in the presence of sunlight to silver and chlorine so this is called the photochemical decomposition okay silver and chlorine chlorine is a greenish yellow gas which is getting liberated and leaving behind the silvery white of silver substance this is a white color uh, salt which get decomposed into silver and chlorine similarly if you take silver bromide silver bromide it also get decomposed into silver and bromine okay so bromine is the reddish brown vapor that is being liberated leaving behind silver and this is actually was used in black and white photography this is most common question being asked that what was in the black and white which compound is being used in black and white photography so silver bromide is particularly being used but because when it is being the photo has been taken the light passes to silver bromide get decomposed into silver and bromine so a layer of silver coat is formed on that photographic film which is used for developing the photograph so in the next part we are going to discuss about in the next video i will discuss about displacement reaction and double displacement reaction thank you